precisa Hello everybody! On this video we are going to look at what the people think about JavaScript in 2018 and we're going to try to predict the trend of um, JavaScript in 2019. All right. So there is this survey called State of JS uh, 2018 and they're going to give you lots of stuff. There's a lot of questions, a lot of answers, blah, blah, blah. What we're going to look at is these categories, JavaScript flavors, front-end frameworks, data layer, back-end testing, testing, mobile, other tools, and awards. Let's get started. So JavaScript flavors. Um, this survey interviewed like 20,000 people, I think, including me. And um, these are the results, all right? There are many questions and many categories, and these are the results. Um, so we have JavaScript flavors here, and the fight is between ECMAScript 6 TypeScript, Flow, Reason, Elm, and ClojureScript. If you don't know about Reason, Reason is a new language uh, that compiles to JavaScript. So it's a sexy language that um, compiles to JavaScript. It, it doesn't look like JavaScript. It looks like a very functional programming language, and it compiles to JavaScript. It's created by Facebook. And I think Facebook deserves an award this year. Facebook, I think, is the best, biggest open source company right now on the web developer development. They have given us Flow, they have given us React, they have given us React Native, they have given us Jest, they have given us GraphQL. So I think clap into Facebook. All right, so look at this. 86% of the people that used ES6 uh, will use it again. That's a lot of fucking people. ES6 almost has nobody that used it and will not use it again. Look at that. Used it, wouldn't use it again. There is only 1% of people. Almost everybody has heard of ES6. And uh, the 8.9 heard of it and would like to learn. And the other ones are not interested. 1% are not interested. TypeScript is different. 46% would like to use it again. 5% don't want to use it again. 33% heard it, are interested, 13 I don't give a shit, and very few people haven't heard of it, only 0 0.4. All right, it's funny that more people have heard of TypeScript than they heard of ECMAScript 6, that is insane. Flow is a type, type checker, just like TypeScript, but from Facebook, TypeScript is from Microsoft. And as you can see here, it's a little bit different. Many people heard of it and are not interested, I am one of them. And the people that heard of it would uh, would like to learn it, 24%. Reason, people don't know about reason. I think you're one of them. And I am here in 22%, I, I heard of it and I would like to learn. Now, if you click in any of the flavors here, you will see the evolution. So for example, if we look at TypeScript, the popularity has been rising. That's definitely, it's definitely that. And the people that heard of TypeScript and are not interested is becoming smaller. I think the people that heard of it and would like to learn uh, it's also becoming smaller. And the people that used it wouldn't, would, wouldn't use again, it's almost staying the same for 4.3 to 5.4. It's almost the same. Awesome stuff. Uh, reason? Look at reason. Yeah, it's becoming more popular. Um, people are more curious, but whatever. Let's look at the conclusions. Conclusions. All right, so there are four categories. Assess, adopt, avoid, analyze. Adopt is high usage, high satisfaction, and is safe to adopt and implement. Assess, slow usage, high satisfaction. So go in it with your own, um, with the, uh, at your own risk and keep an eye on that shit. Avoid, avoid, analyze, high usage, low satisfaction. All right. So adopt TypeScript and ECMAScript 6, definitely. Assess, Elm, Reason, ClojureScript, and Flow. And avoid, almost flow there. Uh, reason looks like this. Look at the reason. It looks very, very, very uh, functional. So this will compile to something like this. All right. And it compiles to JavaScript immediately. Okay. That's all right. But it's super, super functional. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll look into that. It will be interesting to do React in a functional programming way. All right. Front-end frameworks. Let's look at that. React, Vue, Angular, Preact, Ember, Polymer. All right, before, I mean, React is the fucking champion of this category, definitely. 64% of people uh, used it and will use it again. 6.7%, uh, they wouldn't use it again. 19 heard of it and would like to learn. 
only 10% heard of it and are not interested. And I think none, almost none, haven't heard of React. So everybody has heard of React. Not everybody has heard about Vue, but many people are curious about Vue. That is interesting. Uh, look at Angular. Angular, 33% would use it and I uh, used it and wouldn't use it again. I am one of them. I don't like Angular anymore. I used it a long time ago. 35, 31 heard of it and not interested. If you're one of them, good. Don't use it. It's shit. Preact is like a, a it's like React, but I'll, I think faster. And people are curious about it. Me, I heard of it, not interested. I kind of like what React is right now. Ember, not interested. And Polymer, not interested. Okay. So if we look at React, let's look at React. All right. The popularity has is running over time. Zero point one percent of people have heard about React. That is like the fucking champion of this category. And let's look at heard of it and I'm not interested. It's becoming smaller. 2016, uh, 11, 11%, 2018, 9%. So it's becoming smaller. Heard of it and would like to learn is becoming smaller also. Used it and I wouldn't use it again is becoming a little bit bigger, I guess. And used to it and would use it again is becoming bigger. All right, so it's kind of proportional. Cool. Data layer, let's go. Redux. GraphQL, Apollo, Mox, Relay. All right, so Redux, 10% use it, wouldn't use it again. People are very curious about GraphQL, looks like that, very curious. And again, they're curious about Apollo because, I mean, if you haven't heard about GraphQL, you don't know about Apollo, right? So they're very curious about that. Very few people don't want to learn GraphQL. I don't know why they would do that, but we have some people. 42 don't know what Apollo is or Mobix or Relay. Good. Conclusion of the... Oh, we, did we do conclusion of front-end frameworks? We didn't. All right. Conclusion of front-end frameworks. Adopt React like a motherfucker. Assess view between assess and adopt and preact. Avoid Polymer and Ember and analyze Angular. All right. Let's do that conclusions of data layer. Redux is on an adopt like a motherfucker. GraphQL and Apollo are in assess and mouse as well and avoid relate because it's kind of low satisfaction. All right, back in framework, let's go. Express, Express is the fucking champion of this. It's done, that's it. Express is like the, PA, Express is like the PHP of, of uh, JavaScript, it's done. Express, 64%, 16%, heard of it. 8%, not interested. 6%, never heard of it, wow. Next, people are very curious about next. This big people that wouldn't use it again and people don't know what next is. 36% and 35% would like heard of it and never heard of it. Okay, Koa, people don't know what Koa is. Koa is like a updated express from the same people that created express. Uh, not interested, heard of it, would like to learn. All right, Meteor, Meteor, heard of it, not interested. All right, join the club, do not touch Meteor, you don't need it. Sales, mm, they don't know what sales is. And Feathers.js, I haven't even heard about Feathers.js by now. Fuck me. Let's look at Express real quick. See what's going on. All right, Express, used to it and will use it again. It's almost the same, the fucking same. From 2016, 17. 61 to 64, all right. All right, the people that wouldn't use it again is less. The people that liked, would like to learn is almost the same. Heard of it and not interested, a little bit less, and never heard of it, becoming less. All right, but it's a little bit slower. It's not as like viral as React. Also here you can see what people like, but people don't like, blah, blah, blah. Conclusions. Adopt, of course, Express. Avoid Meteor and, and Sales, definitely. Feathers and Koa assess next. Look at that. Next is gonna become big as a motherfucker. I'm telling you here right now, this. I want to see you in one year and Express is going to be an all and next is going to be all the way fucking here in adopt. Next is going to become huge. All right, testing. We don't talk to a lot about testing on this channel, but look at testing. Jest is a library by Facebook uh, to do testing. Uh, all right, that's it. Testing is kind of boring. Um, these are the libraries. Enjoy. Done. Mobile and desktop. This one is interesting for me. Electron, React Native, Native Apps, Cordova, Ionic, Native Script. All right, so people don't people don't want to use Cordova and Ionic anymore uh, because it's, it's just too old. Native Apps, 30%. Native Script, never heard of it. Interested, not that much. Let's look at the important ones. Electron and React Native. 
y somos the same, 53.2, 53.2 hertz of it, and would like to learn, so maybe I should make courses about Electron. Electron is this way of making React applications and putting them inside of software in the Mac or Windows or Linux. So instead of having a React app on your website, you will have it downloaded and installed by a user. You, you use uh, Electron if you use Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is 100% HTML, CSS uh, built-in. Uh, that is that is Expo, eh, Expo, um, Electron. Electron is just the way that we can put JavaScript inside of a, of, of a software. So instead of people going to the website, they will go to your, your software. Uh, React Native, we know what React Native is. 22% not interested, all right. And almost very few, 3.6 wouldn't use it again. And 2.9 wouldn't use Electron again. Cool, let's look at Electron, React Native first. All right, so React Native, people heard of it and would like to learn. People used it and wouldn't use it again, and it's growing very slowly. People, look at that, used it and wouldn't use it again, decreased. People used a lot of React Native in 2017 and wouldn't use it again. 2% went away. And the people that heard of it and not interested is growing. Look at that. They're not interested in that. It's growing. Electron, let's look at this. It's almost stable. Awesome. Let's look at other tools to finish. All right, other languages. The languages that people use when they're working with JavaScript. So for example, the languages that people use on the backend when they're working with JavaScript, and we can see that Python wins the fucking shit. Python wins it. All right, wow. Python, PHP, Java, C Sharp, Net, Go, Swift, Rust, and bye, 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 bye. Clear your script there over here. Look at that, Python just wins. Python and PHP winning. Cool. Awards. All right, so high satisfaction. Awarded to the high library with the highest percentage of satisfied users, that would be Jest. Jest has a 96% satisfaction. Also, Express has a 94% satisfaction. In GraphQL, 94% satisfaction would use again. Highest interest, GraphQL. My God, that's cool. 87% of developers heard about GraphQL and want to learn it. 79 want to learn a storybook. Hmm, I can make a course about this. And 77 want to um, heard about Electron and want to learn it. I should make a course about this category, the interest one. Cool. All right, most mentioned. Award to the library mentioned to the most in other libraries. View X, like next with view, I think. View X or like Redux. I think View X is for, is like Redux, but for view. Yes, Vuex is like Redux, but for Vue, makes sense. The other one is Cypress, No Clue, and Happy is like Express. Most used, React, definitely, look at that. 14,000 people of the 20,000 use React. The other ones use Express, it's like almost the same. If you use React, you kind of almost use Express, and 11,000 use Angular, but they hate it. All right, prediction award. Awarded to an up-and-coming technology that might take over, Reason, look at that. I'm calling it here. I think Reason is gonna become big. Uh, the Facebook team is two for two with React and GraphQL. Maybe Reason will follow the same path. Or maybe maybe it'll become like Flow that nobody uses it. We don't know. But I really look into Reason. And the other one would be VS Code, a special award, award to the technology that we just fell in love with it next year. Cool, look at that. VS Code has become the lead, leading JavaScript text editor. That is some cool stuff. Let's look at other tools, one second. Here, this one, there it is. Other tools, where is it? Text editors, VS, oh, look at that, motherfuck, Jesus Christ, look at that. Text editors, VS Code. Whoa, it just, VS Code just kills everybody else. Including Atom, Sublime, Emacs, Intelligence, Notepad, everybody, fuck me. That's a lot of people, all right. Let's look at what, utility libraries, whatever. Build tools, Webpack, Gulp. I wish Gulp was growing. I like Gulp, I don't like Webpack. Okay, I think if you wanna be a good developer, you always should look into what's gonna happen next and maybe go there before everybody else goes. I think that's what makes you good. You can either stay here and be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just use what I learned and I'm gonna use it forever. But also I think that it's good if you look into what's going on in the future. I think it all, it's, always good, it's always good to know what's gonna come and to be ready for it because it might be a big thing and if you are a first, if you are the first there, it might give you an advantage. So thank you for watching this thing. 
It's very interesting to see where we're gonna go. I think personally that React is gonna keep taking over. I think that Next.js is gonna take over like a motherfucker. And I think that we're gonna see a little bit more about Reason in the future. Uh, I don't know what to say about Jest and Vue.js because I don't use them both, but we'll see. I think more people are gonna use GraphQL and we're gonna, it's gonna take over slowly. So that's it. Look into the future. Look at what's going on. Don't stay where you are. Never stay comfortable. That will be the that will be the, the the topic of today. Never be comfortable where you are. Okay, that's it for now. Love you all. Go to this website. Click for yourself. If you find anything interesting, let me know. Come up with your own predictions and put them on the comments, please. That'll be fun. Leave a like. Leave a dislike. See you on the next video. Go and eat your kimchi. Bye-bye.